Phase 2 is officially here for the arcade, so it's about time I make a new video on all the new games in it. Because it seems like you all really enjoyed my first video on it, so here we go. With 8 new games and updates to a bunch of older games, it is now easier than ever to find a game that you enjoy to grind out millions of tickets for fun prizes. On top of new games, there are also two new stores. We can now purchase ice cream from Chili Billy, and pizza from Virgil T. Chad, the chattiest of all Chads. But that's enough about the stores, let's talk about the games. First off, let's take a look at some of the older games that have been updated. In my previous video, I was not silent on the opinion of the Ice Cave being one of the worst games that there was, and this video will be my official apology to it, because it is now one of my favorites. This game now has two modes, Normal Mode and Hard Mode. Hard Mode is the original game, which limits you to 20 balls to throw, but this mode does award you with bonus tickets. The normal mode is for those of us who just want to go crazy and have fun. You now have an unlimited number of balls to throw, so you can go crazy without having to worry about running out of throws. As long as you still have time to throw, you can still click away. Make sure to go crazy in the second round to get the max score possible. For every 10 points you score, you will get one ticket. So by hitting the bonus round, you can easily get over 500 tickets a game. My previous favorite game, the Avalanche, also got an update. There is now no limit to the number of tickets that you can earn in Avalanche. And on top of that, there is a new bonus mode, which activates after scoring 500 points. In this mode, all the cat sacks will begin to light up, making them worth 2 times the points per throw. So you can really rack up the points in this game. If you were a big fan of this game before, you were certainly going to be very happy with the new changes that were added. The highest scores that I were able to see on this game were 1700 points. So by dedicating your life to this game, you can easily earn over 1000 tickets every time you play it. The Offering also received a much needed update. If you have not seen my dedicated video on the game, make sure to check that out. Planetary Piano is the final game that received a major update. There are now multiple game modes including time trials, the 4 and 8 key modes, and the original endless game modes. You can also play this game with other people in a head-to-head -head battle mode, making it another game that you can play with your friends to earn even more tickets. And as you can see by my gameplay of this footage, I am pretty garbage at this game. So, if you're actually good at this, you could probably earn much more tickets than what I am getting. I have not been able to confirm, but I have heard that the Endless mode does have a limit to about 2,000 tickets. But maybe you can earn more in the other game modes if you are skilled enough. And because I forgot to mention it in my previous video, playing pool can also earn you a fair amount of tickets too. A perfect game can score you 1,500 tickets in just a few minutes. Now that we have talked about all of the older games, it's time to take a look at the newer games. Candy Slam is located on the second floor of the arcade. This is a game that requires you to knock over all the sweets that go by. Punching the lit up sweets will get you bonus points, and the non-sweets will reduce your score. Make sure not to punch anything healthy, because healthy stuff is for nerds. Your final score will reflect the total number of tickets that you earn. Next up is the Coin River. In Coin River, you need to release coins that light up the words River. You have 30 coins to drop, and by lighting up all the lights, you get an ability to launch the gold coins into the river for a few seconds. The gold coins are worth much more, so shoot as many as you can. The goal for this game is to pile up the coins and other gold items to the point where they fall all the way off the ledge. The value of each of the items is located on the side of the game, with the normal coins being worth 15 tickets, and the barrels of coins being worth a whopping 500. This is one of the more expensive games to play, and it's a game that takes much longer compared to others with some of the games taking close to 2 minutes to complete. But as long as you stay focused and continue to pile up the coins to knock off the highest scoring items, you can end up getting many thousands of tickets every single game. I was able to get 4,000 tickets, but I've also seen some people get well over 8,000. Remember that in this game, your previous game can also set you up for a big payout. So if you can pile up a lot of high scoring items in one game, you will be able to have a chance to knock them all off for major points in the next one. The next game is Calorical 2. This is an arcade game where you get to choose two different colors for the ball to land in. The larger the color is in the area, the lower the payout will be, because they have the highest chance to win. Don't let that stop you from betting on red though, because if you win on that bet, you will still get 200 tickets per payoff. The largest payoff, being the pink, will earn you 1000 tickets, and if you do not predict the correct color, you will still be awarded 10 tickets as a consolation prize. Next up is the Dragon's Treasure. This game is similar to the Coin River, but with a few small differences on how you can get higher scoring items. Like the Coin River, you will get 30 silver coins to drop into the Plinko board. If a coin goes through into the treasure chest, it is turned into a gold coin, which is worth much more. 
In this game, there are six different lights that light up on the top of the Plinko board. If you can get a coin to pass over the lights as it is outlined, you will be able to light it up. By lighting up all the lights, the bonus wheel will begin to spin. It has four bonuses that can be landed on. First off, the coin bonus, which lets loose a bunch of coins. Then you have the gems and the treasure chest bonuses, which get added to the piles of coins down below. Getting the dragon power up will push the coins and the treasure slightly further for a few seconds. The values of each of these coins is located on the side of the game. This game is very similar to Coin River, and the high scoring games for it tend to earn me over 3,000 coins. Our next game is the Gears of Coin. This is a quick game which has a progressive jackpot and a score multiplier for even more points. In this game, you simply release coins to try and get them to land into certain slots. The number on the side of the slot will earn you a number of tickets represented by them. Each time you release a coin, you will be adding three tickets to the jackpot. My most common games tend to earn me between 100 and 200 tickets, but keep in mind it only takes a few seconds to complete. So if you just want to play some quick games, this is the place for you. Now step right up for our next game, Mass Fuerte. In this game, you get to take out your unbridled rage on your keyboard, and you get to slam it just as hard as you can to prove how strong you are. By button mashing the next week, you will build more and more power for your swing. But make sure to keep your mouse in the circle, otherwise you won't be able to get strength for the hit. You want to mash enough to get your circle to turn red, and you know that you're going to get a big hit when your character jumps into the air and performs the smack. You will earn one ticket for every two points that you score, with a maximum of 1,200 points, or 600 tickets total which is a pretty fair trade for the functionality and performance of your keyboard. Prismatic is our next game. This is a game which has you move a ball through a maze, scoring in the slots below. This is another game which has a progressive jackpot, which is awarded by landing in the center ring at the bottom. On top of the jackpot, the game will also release balls at once, which can be guided through the maze for even more points too. If you are extra skilled, then these balls can also be guided to the center cup for another five extra balls but that is much easier said than done. My highest scores in this game tend to get me over 500 tickets. And finally, we have the Ultimate Cow Wheel. This is a game that can be played with multiple people at once. It features high scoring discs and a progressive jackpot. By knocking the discs into your center cup, you will earn the total number of tickets marked on each disc. But your main goal is to spell out the word milk. By spelling out the word milk, you will earn points to the jackpot. But here's the catch. By scoring a letter in the disc while the others are not illuminated, you will earn 300 tickets, and then this letter will be lit up for all the players in the game. But the jackpot will only be awarded to the person who scores the last letter in their own goal. This means that if you were to spell out the letters M, I, and L, and the person across from you gets the K, they will be the ones who win the jackpot. So all of you are working towards the goal at the start of the jackpot, but by the end, you're in it for yourself, and you will likely try and steal the jackpot before anybody else. A jackpot in this game can be worth well over a thousand tickets, and with some well-timed button presses, you can easily walk out of this game with over 3,000 tickets in your pocket. So there we have it, all the new games and the updates in the arcade. Overall, I would say that Phase 2 is a major improvement to the appeal of the arcade, and it seems to have attracted a ton of attention from the player base over the last few days. With new achievements and new game modes, there is no shortage of content to experience in the arcade, and you will certainly not have trouble earning your millions of tickets for all the fun prizes. Let me know which games you have the most fun with, and let us know what sort of high scores you've been able to get on them. And as for now, I will see you all in the arcade.